Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about creating a 100% stacked bar with an Eclix Sense. The reason why I'm making this video today is because actually uh, I've, I've been working into different BI platforms before and there are different methods and ways of creating a stacked bars. So when I moved from different BI platform to this ClickSense platform, so initially uh, um, I, I, I don't see easy option to create a stacked bar chart with UA itself. Uh, UA in the sense like uh, using a mouse or something like that you need to write to, you need to write an expression to get the 100% stacked bar. However, it is not that complicated. So it's much easier. So we need to understand the logic of the code, how we are writing. So, so that's the reason I'm making this tutorial. So I can explain you about the expression to build expression and which can convert that bar side by side bars to a hundred percent stacked bars or just normal stacked bars to hundred percent stacked bars. So if you look into this, uh, this report right now, so I already pre-built this report, so I'm going to build it from the scratch for you guys and explain you step by step. So the idea of this report is basically, I have a four different product lines, basically accessories, bikes, clothings, and components. So uh, basically uh, the, the main companies is like they're, they're like, they have a bikes company, like I pulled this data from the adventure box. So they have this bikes company. So along with the bikes, you'll also get the accessories, um, accessories in the sense chains, brake parts and all the stuff, right? So those are kind of accessories and also and there are kinds of bikes, right? One is touring bikes, mountain bikes, and all the stuff. And also clothing in the sense like, you know, when you buy some bike, you can buy a t-shirt, they can offer you a t-shirt, they can, you know, you can buy the cap for the bike, you know, kind of things, you know, towels and all the stuff. So these are the part of that clothing. And we do have some components called handlebars. So, and road frames and couple of components, um, wheels and all the stuff which we can uh, replace to these bikes so i just uh, this, so this helps in identifying that so how many of the components has like out of 100 percent of this component uh, uh product line so which which of this component major part of the component um is using right so out of all these components right now you see there are so many components are available but out of these components 82 percentages of mountain frames are being used right so those are the uh, these are these guys are consuming more out of these components and then uh, you, there are road frames so basically you can identify how many percent what is the percentage of the components of the main product line has been used right so when you put your mouse here you can see all these components right so so let's see how to build this one so i have a tab uh, i pull a new tab and i call this as 100 percent stacked bar two so if i click on edit i can I can show you the data initially, which is a straight data. I'll just quickly add what data I would like to convert. So I would like to convert, this is the my main product line, accessories, spikes, clothing, and components. In one more dimension, I would call a subcategory name. So you see this, so these guys are repeating, which means that in each of these categories, uh, in this product line, I have multiple subcategories on accessories, bike racks, lights, rocks, locks, pumps, and all the stuff. So if I put this in a cross table, it's gonna look something like this. Okay, before to that, I would like to show you the, the rate standard cost of these individual um, guys, right? So this is the standard cost for bike racks and stuff like that so now what's happening now i would like to convert this so i copy this i 
I copy this, I paste it here, and then I can quickly and easily I can convert this table to a pivot table. The moment I did that, so it's asking for as the measure because the standard cost is not is is, is part of the uh, uh, the row, so we have to move that to the measures. So I think I have to convert that, otherwise it may not work. So let me add that standard cost sum of standard cost. So now this will give me the clear idea of what's what. For example, right for accessories, the sum of all these parts subcategory part sum of all these guys is equal to 777.04 and all the bikes which is equal to this much amount when i break down the bikes i can see what are the type of bikes and individual prices right so now i would like to see this in the graphical representation and then then I would like to see how much percentage of each component is being consumed from the main product category line right so so I have this data so I can what I can do is I can simply um, I can simply drag this bar chart and drop it here and then I'll say that convert to a bar chart so it's asking to put some measure I'll put standard cost and sum of standard cost so I'll just track this thing here. So you see this here. So what it is doing right now is uh, let me close this one too. And then make this thing bigger. So it is showing that. So um, let me have a uh, some slider because of this height you we are not able to see the accessories uh, standard cost they are like so thin now they are they, they are like under twenty thousand dollars so that's the reason we are not able to see that um, so what I'm going to do here is so let's see if I can put this to a narrow it's somehow it is showing let's say this she's showing where is my uh, there should be an option that I, I have to figure it out that I, where I can be able to drive that but okay we can we can come back to that point so so what I can see that each of this component how much the price is varying and all the stuff we can see that we can quickly add the values to that so I'll add the values so I can see it's the same thing what you have saw for each of these uh, components uh, in the sub subcategories of the main product line so you can see their price list and all the stuff right so okay so uh, what next so basically now if you look into this right so how it's actually converting this to a hundred percentage so before to do that right even if you there is an option in the presentation that which can convert this grouped bars to a stacked bars but if you do that it is summing up those products sub products and then it is showing 332586 something like this right so this is for each of these accessories which we just saw in the cross table like some of all the product for accessories is 777.04 now how do I do how do I convert this into 100% is to understand better so I would like to split this into this group because the reason is when you click and go to your measures so basically all your aggregations has to be done here inside the measure so we do have something called total what this total is gonna do okay so when you click on this total right now you can clearly see that you can clearly see that the total sum of all the accessories plus bikes plus clothing plus components 
whatever the sum is splitting the same number across all these all these subcategories i would like to say all these bars so let me take that subcategory out of that and put that into some alternative dimension so now you can see so it's it's splitting the same across all these components so which means if you still don't understand i'll just try i'll take out this total i can explain you briefly so right now this when i put total it's going to sum all these four which means seven 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 zero four plus three three two five eight six two two three seven six eight this 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 when you do that you will get this much so i'll not do that i know that it's working um i just did the calculation so it's working perfectly fine so the moment if i do this total this total amount is going to split against these four uh components these four bars so it's going to be the same so it's not a duplicate so there is a reason they have this option called total so what next so now when i put this so let's inside this total now let me add this alternative to the dimension over here so the moment i added this it's the same amount is being is being splitted across all these guys it's the same amount still right so now what's happening let's the magic is the, when you put so now when you put the product category name over here so now you can clearly see that that split has changed now so earlier if you remember for accessory sum of accessories is equal to is only seven seven point triple seven point zero four and now what's happening the moment i added the subcategory to this now it's got split of the same number across all these accessories now now if i i'll just copy this or like i can comment this i'll just sum of i'll just put like the standard cost just quickly say that so you can see the individual price of these accessories or this uh, subcategory of the products right now i'm going to divide this with this right just remember one of these so let's remember the um this number it's easy i guess 84256 dollars so now 84 1256 over there 84200 84256 dollars so 256 what's that some 44 not 44 it's this one the green one so it is 102452 equal to 0.822 right so let's see So now it's 0.82, which that's what it's showing. 0.82, which has more uh, more decimal points there. Now, when you look into this deeply, now when you sum this bar plus this bar plus this bar the plus this bar, the sum of all these components should be equal to 100. So then that is when that you when you do the stack so what happens is they all will get summed up so that is called stack so when i do that so they got summed up now it's showing one it's not just one it's basically a percentage which is equal to 
100 so how can you see that as a percentage you simply go here come here and measures click on the number and then there is a formatting option and click a uh, percentage you have a percentage of decimal points so when you look into that so you can see that hundred percent decimal points so remember guys so this we have to make sure that whenever we want to do such kind of uh, denominators and like to get the hundred percent stacked bars or it, this can be used in many for many purposes so make sure you understand this total functionality with this main uh, dimensional value okay guys uh, please let me know if you have any comments thanks for watching this thank you bye